button and the screen comes on. Come on. All right, the screen comes on. What you see is a big, nice wallpaper with your favorite applications at the bottom. There's no UI junk, there's no bars, there's no boxes that's cluttering up your experience. You can obviously configure the wallpaper, you can have your favorite important information. The important information is all going to be in this area and want to make sure that the user can focus on that stuff. If I want to launch an application, I just tap on the icon and it kind of glides from the bottom. I can flick to scroll. Oops. I can flick to scroll the list. It has a nice momentum to it. It also bounces off the end when I reach the end. I can tap to zoom in and I can see all the contact information for this person. Now the question is, how do I go back to the list view of the contacts, right? Where I see all the contacts. There is no back button in the UI. There is no back button in the hardware here. How do I go back? Well, this area under this view, viewable screen is also a touch screen. It is capacitive. So if I touch in this area, you will notice that this button, the center button, actually glows. It may be hard to see that in the visualizer, uh, but if you see here, the button is actually glowing. Which means that we can use this area for gestures. It opens up a huge world of gestures for us. All I have to do is I have to swipe my finger back and I'm back in the contact list view. So whichever application I may be in, wherever I may be in the system, I just do a quick swipe back and I go back. Very, very simple. So I flick to scroll, I tap to zoom in, and I swipe to go back. That's the in-application navigation. The other cool gesture that I want to show you is as you swipe up, you get a list of all your applications. You go to the launcher. So again, I swipe up and I get to my applications. I can launch my Photos application. Our Photos application shows you all the albums and it will also show you a single place to view all the images on the device. So let's go to all the images. This very first picture is actually a picture that was taken I think he's a BBC reporter. We took it right here using the camera on the device so you can kind of see the quality of the image. It's very, very good. I can now just flick through the pictures by going right and left and it's a very, very easy to understand interface. If I want to zoom in, I can just double tap. I can just double tap to zoom in. I can double tap to zoom out. I can also use my two fingers to zoom in and then I can use my two fingers to zoom out. So very simple operation for the pictures application. Please interrupt me if you have questions. This is not an on-stage presentation by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I was not even looking at it. I was just trying to do it while I was looking at that. It's actually fairly, and I, after I'm done with the demo, I'll let you play with some of the gestures. And it's actually very forgiving and very precise. Having said that, there are obviously bugs in the system, which is why you're not out in the market yet. But these are the things that we'll definitely be fixing. Um, I can bring up the application launcher again, and I can launch my notes application. So you get the idea. Wherever I may be on the system, I can just do a single swipe and I can launch any application from the launcher. If you've used a Palm device before, even going back to the mid-90s with the Palm Pilot, we had those four hard buttons right in front. Contacts, calendar, tasks, and memos. You may be anywhere on the system. If you press that hard button, it will launch that application very easily. Well, we don't have space for those buttons here because we are utilizing it for the screen. But the functionality is still important. So how do we allow the user to do that? We just swipe up and there's your list of favorite applications. And it appears in sort of a wave. And when I know which application I want to launch, I just let my finger go and it launches that application. So again, wherever I may be on the system, I just do a single swipe and I can launch my favorite application. Very, very powerful for the end user. Now I've launched three or four applications. I've shown you notes. I've shown you pictures. I've shown you contacts. I also launched calendar. Let's say now I'm in contacts and I want to go back to notes. 
On any other mobile device, the way you would do that is you'll bring up the launcher and you'll tap on nodes. But it's already open. Why do I have to go back to the launcher and open it again? Right? Today on your PC, if you have four applications open and you want to go back to the first one, you don't have to go to the start menu and open it again. It's already open for you. That's exactly what we do as well. We allow you to handle multiple applications at the same time, but we didn't want to cram windows into a small device. So we have created a paradigm called the card view. So if I press the center button, it takes you to the card view, where every open application has a card of its own. And these are live applications. These are not just JPEG images or icons. And I will illustrate that for you. If I'm scrolling this list and I go back to the card view, you see that it's still scrolling in that list. It's totally live, connected to the web, getting updates. It's like an application. If I want to move the order of these application cards, I can just pick it up and drop it here. If I want to move photos to the end, I just pick it up and drop it here. Again, the design inspiration on this is to be very, very natural. If you have, you know, several objects on a table, and if you want to move them around, how do you do that? You move them around like this, which is very natural to human beings, and that's exactly what we try to bring. Now that we have a very strong touch panel and we can use your finger to move things, we wanted to make it as intuitive and as natural for the end user. Same thing with closing applications, right? There's no button to close an application. You don't go to menu, exit, close. All you do, like you do in the physical world, is you throw it off the screen. And that closes the application. You throw it off the screen, throw it off the screen, throw it off the screen. You don't have to worry about 